In this video, I have a simple smoke particle system that originally was running in the arcade game that I shipped, but I just took the data file and I put it in the particle directory and then just started using it on the iPhone. And that pretty much shows how easy this system is to use. I literally took a data file from uh, from uh, an arcade game called Friction, which if you want, you can look it up in my YouTube videos and just dumped it into the uh, particle system directory and the engine loaded it up and started running it. And that's the power of, of that system. I can have an artist come up with different particle systems and the programmer or engineer isn't involved. So they can be as creative as they want and don't depend on me to get things up and running. I'll move this guy down so we can see it. So here's an example of uh, several properties. For instance, you can see that the particles are of smoke are fading away. So the way that's done is they have a color effector where the artist draws a little texture with the colors as time goes by. And the life, during the lifespan of the particle, it fishes out a particular color for the particle. And as the particle gets older, eventually the color becomes black and you can see that nice gradual fading away of the particle smoke. And I don't know if you noticed, but you can also rotate the particles as they're moving around. So you can see the smoke billowing and slightly rotating. And again, you can set that up however, how to control the speed of the rotation, which direction, and it, it happens randomly. So sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's fast. And um, so those are several of the prop. There's other properties you can control. For instance, I think these this one, each individual particle is being sorted according to the distance from the camera. And I support the alpha blending, as you can see. So again, that it was just a matter of me just saying, I want you to spawn a smoke particle system instead of the, the spark particle system. And the cool, si um, what was I gonna say? The cool feature is it's, it's running the same code, whether it's the spark or the smoke. It's, it's irrelevant because everything works off of uh, particle effector components. So you just mix and match to get different behaviors for the particles. So if I move this guy back, he shouldn't, he should interact or at least the particles should. Yeah, you can see. He's getting affected. If I move him back. Yeah, right there you can see he's behind or the particles are going through. So that's just uh, the second demo of the particle effect system that I have. Thanks and bye.